How to add your 123 mail account to Apple Mail. Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk you through adding an email account to Apple Mail. This method can be applied to an email account from any mail provider. However, in this tutorial, we will provide the specific settings for 123 mail as well. Right, let's get started. To begin, open Apple Mail, click on Mail, and then select Preferences. Click on Accounts and select this plus icon. You will now be prompted to select the type of account that you are adding. For this video, we are adding a 123 mail account, so please select Add other mail accounts and click Continue. If you are adding an account from one of the providers listed, then please find out their specific details before you begin. Now type in your full name, how you would like it to display to others reading your email, and then type in your email address and passwords for the account you wish to set up, and click Create. If you receive a notice saying that your account must be manually configured, then don't worry, as this isn't uncommon. Just click Next, and you will be able to begin adding in the correct settings so you can start sending and receiving email using Apple Mail. OK, you will now need to choose between POP and IMAP. POP and IMAP are mail protocols that allow you to sync and read your email via an email client. This includes desktop clients such as Apple Mail or Mozilla Thunderbird, a webmail interface such as Gmail or 123Mail, or on your mail app on your tablet or smartphone. So what does the POP option do? POP3 downloads your mail as you view it on your email client. It's great for users who only want to access their mail from one email client or device. And IMAP? How does that work? IMAP allows you to read your email without having to download it. The important thing to note here is that IMAP works well for users wanting to view and manage their email from multiple mail clients. Now that you've decided between POP and IMAP, let's set up our incoming server details. To be able to access your email via Apple Mail, you will need to add the mail server address. If you are using 123Mail and have chosen to view your email using POP, then type in pop.123-reg.co.uk into the mail server box. If you have decided to use IMAP, then type in imap.123-reg.co.uk. If you are using another mail provider, you will need to enter their server address details. It is common practice to try pop.yourdomain.co.uk or imap.yourdomain.co.uk and then simply replace yourdomain.co.uk with your own domain name. Please be aware that this does not apply to all providers. We therefore recommend that you check with your service provider for their specific server settings. Right, now you need to enter your username. For 123 mail users, this is the email address which you are setting up. If you are using an alternate mail provider, Check with them for what your username should be. Type in your password for this email account and click Next. To be able to send your email through Apple Mail, you will need to add the outgoing mail server details. For 123Mail, the SMTP server is smtp.123-reg.co.uk. Please note, some internet service providers such as BT and Orange may not allow you to connect to the outgoing mail server using an SMTP address from a third-party provider. However, do try using the details we will provide, and if you incur any problems, then please get in contact with your service provider. We are using the details for 123Mail. If you choose to use an alternate mail provider, try using smtp.yourdomain.co.uk as the outgoing server address replacing your domain.co.uk with your own domain name. Although this is common practice, it doesn't apply to all providers. As with your incoming server address, we recommend that you check with your mail provider for the specific outgoing server settings. OK, you will now need to enter your username. For 123Mail users, this is the email account you are setting up. If you are using an alternate mail provider, then check with them for what your username should be. Now type in your password and select Create. If an error message comes up, then check you have entered your details correctly and try again. 
If you select Create and the box closes, then this means that your account has been successfully set up and added to Apple Mail. You will now be able to send and receive emails using your newly added email account. Thanks for watching. If you require further help or assistance, please visit our support site at www.123-reg.co.uk forward slash support.